another LED lamp tear down. Um, this one is a LED candle lamp, as you can see, with this sort of stylish top. Um, so actually, we'll just get right into it. So this unscrews, and there's the little sort of light guide, and then there's an aluminium core PCB with, uh, let's lift that up, in fact, let's hoik it up. Yeah, aluminium core PCB with the fiberglass shim in the front, heatsink compound in the back, and the wires leading through to the ballast, and three one watt chips. And there are three light guides in this arrangement, which um, not only sit over the LEDs, but when this is screwed on, the top is screwed on, it firmly clamps them down, theoretically. But when you actually try doing it with this, it just seems to just kick up at a slight angle. And actually, that's one of the best results I've had so far, because when it arrived, the thing was just sitting at a really weird angle and really not pressing that circuit board down properly. But anyway, let's take a look on the other side of it. Lots of wire twisting going on. Ooh. Eh. Right here. So that's all that's really keeping the circuit board contacts, the sharp pointy solder joints from um, the aluminium frames. That's probably not a good thing. Oh, and I recognise the module inside. Uh, yes, OK. So that's what's between you and instant death. Um, a common enough little module. It's using a BP semi-chip, so the mains comes in, it goes through a bit of direct fire, no filtering, which you don't really expect to find on this cheap stuff anyway. An electrolytic. 100, uh, 400 volt, uh, 4.7 microfarad. And then the chip here is a BP9021, I think it was. Yes, I think it's BP9021, which uh, drives this transformer, which is a single primary winding. It's not got the dual primary winding, as some of them do. And then the output, it goes through this single diode, tiny little suppression capacitor, uh, filtering faster and then to the LEDs themselves. So um, here is the data sheet for that chip which is only available in Chinese which isn't that helpful but it's interesting because the BP chip, the, the ones I've seen before tend to be BP3102 and this is the newer version because it's quite interesting because the previous ones had two primary windings and effectively well Technically speaking, it's a primary winding and a secondary winding because initially the power supply to the chip would charge through this resistor here, charge up that capacitor until it reached a voltage threshold, and then the chip would suddenly start firing at that point. And at when it did start running, it had a second winding which would then actually power the chip. It was also used for some feedback, but um, it also powered the chip, which was uh, the main function of that second winding. What they appear to have done here is they've um, made the chip so low current that that resistor there is enough to keep it running. It's They've just basically uh, made the chip more efficient, I guess, um, and they don't need the second winding. So that makes it very simple. I'm not 100% sure what this is. I'm guessing it's some kind of snubber network. Not 100% sure about that. Um, uh, those components tend to be tucked and most of these designed underneath the transformer. Um, but you've got two resistors, one that uh, is the current um, sense and the other one which I'm guessing is the oscillator. It's, there's very little clear information on this. Um, there's Certainly there's an internal drawing of what it's like inside, but it's not overly helpful because it is largely in Chinese. But uh, you can see the current sense output, uh, which is basically being used to sense the current flow through the primary winding. So by setting that, you're basically setting the uh, power of the unit, I suppose. Although, yeah, I'm guessing it must just set it to the transformer style you use. Um, <coughs> the other resistor input, ROVP, 
Not 100% sure that is. I don't know um, if it's another sense threshold or if it's actually a, for an internal oscillator. Uh, it might be to match the frequency of output to the transformer. I'm not 100% sure. But um, they're interesting little things, but preferably not uh, crammed into aluminium housings. But uh, it's quite a, a neat enough lamp. It, it certainly looks nice once it's lit, if you can get the whole arrangement inside sat down correctly. But um, yes, there you go. So another chippy uh, candle lamp from eBay.